Ben Lamont Station, one of the best spots yet. What do you reckon? Oh, mate, we've got tidal creeks, fishing, camping. It'll have to be up there, eh? Hey guys, it's Ryan and them from Wandering Free. We can't wait to show you this one. On our way to Ben Lomond Station. Yeah. So this is one that I found on Hip Camps. I think it was fifteen dollars a person plus then your Hip Camp booking fee. So I think it ended up being thirty eight, thirty nine bucks for the night. Yeah. Um, but they've got all these different camps. I think they've got about five different camps. Yeah, and they got a, a tidal creek there, which is on the edge of the property. Yeah. Um, which is called Eden Lacey. Lassie Creek. Lassie Creek. Yeah. yeah. So. So hopefully. we can do a bit of fishing. Got a yeah. bit of fishing. Yeah, there's a um, a spot where you can launch tinnies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's a little tinny ramp as well, which is cool. we don't have the tinny with us. No. Like, bugger. Um, and yeah, that you can do crabbing and all, all sorts yeah. of stuff like that here. There's a couple of good spots for that. Looks pretty cool, though. It does. And each campsite, they've built like um, a fireplace on it, like a fire pit on it, so you can have your fire and everything yeah. like that, and it's all contained in there. I believe they also offer... Um, um, wood if yep. you want to buy wood pre-cut yeah. wood from them it's like 20 bucks yep. um, or you can just go around the property and gather the wood yourself yeah so it's pretty cool yeah keen out to see what it's all about That is killer good. Right here guys, we just pulled up, um, we spoke to Colleen, she's a legend of a lady. 
Um, she's the property owner here who um, takes you down from the house all the way down to your campsite. Um, she was awesome. We've pulled up. We're at the spot near the tinny landing, um, which as you can see, the tide is going out. Plenty of water. The car's up the back to the left there. Um, the campsite goes all the way around here. Um, and yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go for a bit of a drive, see what we can find. And yeah, looks absolutely unreal. Apparently the fish are going off, so fingers crossed. Right, guys, got into camp, everything's set up. Yep, we're gonna go cut some wood now and collect some twigs and stuff so we can get the fire going for dinner. Get to use my chainsaw. Um, walk 250 meters that way, get the car and bring it back here with the rooftop tent up. <laughs> so do what? Collect the wood. <laughs> <laughs> We've got all our wood back safe and sound. Just had to reset up the rooftop tent. <laughs> and now we're just going to light the fire. Yeah. Radio guys, been a bit cheeky tonight. Just bought the slow cooked beef brisket from Woolies, um, pre slow cooked. So we're gonna chuck that in the camp oven and make some burgers out of it. So I think we'll just put it in for about 40 minutes to start with and see where that leaves us. <laughs> I don't know if we can pick it up on the camera, but that orange glow in the distance there is a mountain top. They lit it up uh, two days ago, apparently. Last night was spectacular. They said the orange glow was the entire mountain. 
But we've got that view from our campsite tonight, so pretty happy with that, eh? Hold on a sec, bro. Oh, no. oh, wow. Look at that. That is going to be so good. Keen ass. You reckon she's ready? I reckon she's ready. Right now? Yeah, I reckon. Smells good. Mm. Smells really good. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness, that Look looks this incredible. Bit is just falling apart. Wow. Yum o. So this is literally the old boy special. <laughs> Unreal, look at that, it smells sauce. so good. Oh, that is warm. It actually smells so good, eh? I think this will be lunch tomorrow as well. On yeah. Sandwiches. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, I swear there's another bit of meat in there somewhere. No, apparently not. And then you get your little sauce in your sachet. So we'll cut that open and put that over the top of it. I'll cut the meat up first. Pull this over the top of it, mix it all together, and then make our burgers up. That looks so good, eh? Yeah. Unreal. So yummy. So easy. So easy. So that literally took the 40 minutes on the fire, so... And we left it in the plastic. So the box says, um... If it's going in a barbecue to take all the plastic off of it, but if it's going in an oven to leave the plastic on it, and we were arming and iron because we we're like, I wonder what type of heat's going to get in the camp oven, but we we're like, bugger, it's called a camp oven. <laughs> <laughs> so we left it in the plastic and it was fine. Come up for Rupert, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Keen has to tuck in. Yep. All right. Yep. Mmm. That's so good, eh? Best thing I've ever did was a camp oven, I think. And go away from the old bacon, eggs, and bloody hash browns for dinner, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, everything. This is unreal. Mmm. We're up and at it this morning. Um, Ryan's just got the fire lit, so what's the yeah. plans? Um, we're going to cook up some French toast, so keen yeah. as. French toast for breaking on the fire. Bit of bacon, bit of syrup. Did you pack ice cream? I did. Ah, oh, nice. The tide has literally just started running. You can actually see the run on it. Um, so, fingers crossed. We're not in the actual designated fishing spot here, um, where they know that you definitely catch fish. Um, well, you can. People like me won't catch anything, but um, we're just near the tinny ramp here now, which is only like 50 metres from our camp, so I thought I'd have a quick flick on the change of tide and see how we go.
taking the other one. Or actually, I'm gonna take the last one. We're pretty obsessed with cooking on the fire. I think it's pretty cool that you can cook all of this on the fire. Oh, Ryan doesn't like me. Mmm. 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 Berries. Sorry. No berries today. Mmm. 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 We've just pulled up at what they call the fishing spot. So apparently around the corner from here on the creek is the big lizard. <laughs> yeah, five and a half meters or four and a half, I can't remember what she said, but I'm pretty sure she said five and a half, so that's pretty big. Yeah, and that's a big, a big slug, boy. But, so. Yeah, it doesn't chase the boats or anything, no. so they like having him here. It means that no others will come through, I guess. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to see if we can catch him on the drone um, and then chuck some lines in. Have a flick and wait, because it's a little bit of a... The crossing out is obviously tidal, so peak of high tide's one o'clock today, and it's a high tide, so... Yeah, so we're we have to wait to... a bit so we can leave, but it's That's a good right. place to wait. <laughs> Look at this for a waiting place, eh? Unreal. That's it. just packed up the awning um, and all that so we are going to see, see if, if we can we get can out cross. <laughs> yeah. see if it's still too high or not so I think it's what two hours yeah. after high tide literally so, yeah. yeah see it's, how we go if you come in low tide you don't get any like you don't cross any salt water obviously so um, that's all good it's just obviously when it's high tide it's probably about two two foot two and a half foot of water there so um, yeah just so if anyone's worried about that sort of thing um, but yeah no it's pretty cool A place like this exists, so. Absolutely. I think it's pretty awesome. I think so too.
We've made it back to the van, and you guessed it. Fish and chips for dinner. Bell of the sun, you know. <laughs> Always the way. It ends up being a bit of a late one, so we just grabbed it on the way home. We aren't really unpacked yet, but we'll no. do that after we have something to eat. But yeah, we had an awesome weekend. Hey, Ben Lomond Station was absolutely phenomenal. It was what crazy a spot. good. What a spot, all right? Holy. So I actually have a tinny when you go, but. Dingo Beach and um, Hideaway Bay is literally directly across from there. And there's um, Ben Lomond Summit. And the summit yep. was actually, or the mountain was actually on fire while crazy. we were there. crazy. Which was pretty awesome. Apparently, the fire was a lot more vibrant the night before when yeah, they first the whole lit mountain it. was orange on one yeah. side but we just seen the line as it started going through the top so still but yeah cool still pretty awesome so definitely. yeah it was absolutely the best place and definitely stop in there on your way past if you're going through <laughs> for sure hope you guys enjoyed a eh? like subscribe you know what you're doing